Welcome back everyone to episode 2 of our Let's Play series on cold waters in the USS Seawolf. We just finished our last mission. We get the little status of port. No D-Day for China. Scarborough Shoal, South China Sea, a massive coordinated Chinese sea-based landing has been repelled. A, defense, a Department of Defense spokesman says that a combination of hard fighting by defending troops and prior significant weakening of the invasion force by U.S. naval units contributed to averting disaster and defeat. Boy, yeah, isn't that an understatement? <laughs> we wiped out the entire landing force. <laughs> According to analysts, the ability of the U.S. to contain the enemy and prevent the opening of new fronts will be a major factor in the outcome of the war. Only by keeping the front line focused on a few territories will the Western allies have any hope of success. Wow, that's pretty bold. Okay, here we go. We do have eight TLAM missiles equipped. NAVOPS plans to forestall new enemy operations by hitting warships in port and the port facilities themselves. You are hereby ordered to sail within 100 miles of Chantal. What the hell? <laughs> In order to launch at least eight TLAM missiles at this target. Important, if you do not have... Yeah, we're fine. It's green. I guess this is the whole point. Sail to Chantal and launch at least eight TLAM missiles. This is going to be one hell of a mission. So it only makes sense for us to outfit... I mean, I guess until we get there, we're not going to load the TLAMs. I think that this is a this is actually a pretty good loadout. Something like this: five torpedoes, two TASMs, one Moss. We'll continue on course. We'll pause. So Chantal, we have to get within a hundred of Chantal and then somehow attack. And this is going to be brutal. I know there are other surface fleets in this area. There were. Oh boy. Like say the word, and there they are. I really don't want to. Oh boy. We don't want to run into them. Hopefully this is still in uh, not so shallowish waters. There's actually a strong surface duct here. I don't think it's going to matter because I believe we're going up against a submarine, but contact is at bearing 145, so just east of south, which is weird. I think we keep being positioned in the place where I expect, I would expect them on basically the reciprocal bearing, but that's fine. We will have all hands man battle stations. Out our new contact. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Come right to not gonna have an issue with helm I not gonna have an issue with the uh, depth which is nice Con sonar new contact bearing one one six I mean. Sierra two okay Sierra two what are you could be a merchant I don't expect one Ming alone to be operating. Uh, yeah, I mean, by itself doesn't... Uh, that's the merchant. That must be a merchant. I, I can't see which one of these is off. But it just can't be. It can't be. Let's go to the merchants. See which one of these fits. Con, helm, steady course. None of them? Con, sonar, Sierra, one. Is cavitating. Oh god. She's cavitating. Oh okay, that's why is she cavitating? That's so quiet here too. Make my depth. Make depth one two hundred zero zero feet dive by. Go down to even two fifty. Make depth two five zero feet dive by. Speed is eight knots. Range is very, very, very close. She's not, so we want to probably launch and then drop below the duct. Uh, okay, that's what I think we'll do. And Sierra 2, what the heck are you? I don't think you're anything we need to worry about, but I cannot identify you. Because I really don't think it's a whatever on whatever landing ship. That to me is a merchant. This does not make sense. Let's do this. Sonar, Sierra 2 is classified and then figure as out merchant. if that's true. Is there anything else it could be? Okay, if there's nothing else it can be, then it just has to be that. But I just can't imagine why one single one of those would be out here. Dive at two five zero feet. Dive 
sonar. It is the only thing which reports like that. Con sonar. Sierra two. Is By the way, this Ming, I don't. Emergent. I think she has very bad passive. Some reforms the BQQ-5 mounted on the Han Zia class version of the French Elodon low frequency digital. So what's oh man, we we are detectable. She's about to launch, I'm guessing. So let's go ahead and make this fun. If she goes active, we're dead, but we're relying on passives here. Maybe if we drop below the layer. Okay, I think... Yeah, we, we know where she is now. Apparently we know... Oh, there. Now we have her. And she should have us. So we're going to launch and just appear to just go flank speed. Unless she's going to go below the layer? Looks like she's going to go below the layer. <sighs> Five detection. Should we let her? I think that her detection is going to go get much worse in a second here. Depth under keel is deep. Okay. Yeah. Her passive just went down. Okay, well, Come right start turning into one, her zero, baffles. Zero. I mean, Hell that's I. always fun. Maneuver under baffles. Keep an eye on the passive. Con helm, steady course. Oh yeah, she. Come right <laughs> you know, she had a choice one, two, between turning two, left and turning right. I. She just turned the wrong way. She's basically helping us get into her baffles. Very soon, we will launch, and that'll be that. Have it go below the layer since that's where she now resides. Come right to one, three, two, helm I. This is gonna be good. Very soon we'll be in her baffles. There. And she just went active too. Crazy. Shoot two one. I sir. Con sonar. Launch transient from Sierra One. Con sonar. Launch transient from Sierra One. Okay. Well, we Major came out of our baffles. Sonar. We are cavitating. We're gonna rely on. Con sonar lost. Con Passing 300 feet. Think that we're gonna be okay, Fire but. Control. We've lost the wire. Yeah. Passing 400 feet. Con sonar, no longer cavitating. Passing 500 feet. Passing 600 feet. I'm gonna turn back right to hopefully dive under them. Passing 700 feet. Before they go Passing too active. Feet. But I don't, I'm not, I mean that the closer Passing we are, the less there uh, will be, like essentially the 45 Passing degree cone feet. that pops out of them and Passing says what they can view. Feet. The closer we are to that, the less likely that is to, to pick us up. So the closer, I mean, the basically, as we go closer underneath of them, it's much less likely that they are going to be able to actually detect us. And I think this one's going right over us. Okay. Importantly, we mainly want to see what our torpedo is going to do, because theirs have both missed. It's clear. So they did launch a noisemaker, and our torpedo appears to be more or less on a line with that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. We're we're in good shape. We're in business here. So we'll go ultra quiet, but not really. And then bring ourselves back up to 200 feet. Make depth two zero zero feet. Die by. Come right to one six eight helm I. Think we got her here. Yeah, look at how tight that's turning. It must be just about to hit. Con maneuvering, making turns four five knots. Let's 
it's got so many noisemakers to avoid. <laughs> Careful. This thing might pick us up, so we we'll just level out here. Oh, we got her now. Okay. This torpedo is looking good now. I'm feeling a lot less uncomfortable. Con torpedo room two one ready. Make depth. Let's go ahead and make our depth periscope depth. I want to confirm this is an enemy ship before I decide to kill it. Because that is very, very dead submarine. Last bearing two, two, zero. Contact breaking up. Okay. So let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit. Make our way to the surface. Periscope depth. Let's try to identify what this is. Pretty sure it's a merchant. I just don't understand why I keep thinking it's not. But it doesn't look like anything else. So I want to get up to the surface and I want to see it with the periscope. Confirm what this thing is. Come left to one six five helm I. Bring up our ESM mass first. Yeah. Lower the ESM mass. Lower the radar mast. We want that periscope up. And this thing is just about over here. Is that it? How far away is it supposed to be? Oh my god, 6,000. <laughs> well, that's very far away. <laughs> Down Lower the periscope. Come left to one one seven. Put ourselves at five hundred feet. Make your con and sonar. We are I guess six hundred feet. Make con sonar. No longer cavitating. Let's Come find this guy. One, F9. One, helm I. Con helm. Make turns for one. Make turns for. Make turns for. So we're gonna zip along under the water. I'm pretty sure this is not an. I don't, just don't understand why there's nothing else I am identifying it as. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a, just a pause in the video here, since I don't think this will be very interesting. So I'll just basically pause and I'll resume the video once we've actually caught up with it. Okay, time to take another peek. We've obviously moved pretty far. So make our way up to 50 feet. That's a. Uh, Clear our tow array from our own vessel. See if we find this thing. Slow down to <laughs> five knots. Maneuvering eye. Should be just zipping up because of the speed we're taking from the high speed. Hopefully, we'll detect this thing pretty quickly. And hopefully, if we're really lucky, we'll be able to even see it here. Not getting it, though. Now, it was going, I think... Oh, okay, there it is. Yeah, it's moving, like, directly away from us. So even if it's not moving that fast, it's still going to hinder our attempt to identify it. Unless we are closer. Let's see, is there anything else it could be? It's obviously a merchant vessel of some kind. Okay, that's what it still appears to be. Con maneuvering, making turns for five knots. Yeah, we, 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 what can it be? I don't know what else it could be. I mean, I feel like LST. If it just screams merchant ship to me. Let's go. Okay, your bearing is one two five. 
which is where we're looking. I think that that's it. Oh, wait. I'm just getting artifacting. Artifacting? Can I just, like, grab you? I'm hitting L. I don't know if that's still the same thing as lock as it is in <laughs> Silent Hunter. But let's go ahead and try this again. Yep, I'll just have to break away again and go back to... Six, zero, zero, eight, die, bye. Come right to... One, two, three, go back to another five. pause in the video until I try to catch up with this thing. Oh my god! Downscope. Downscope. Oh my god, please downscope. Before we destroy our periscope. <laughs> Make turns for one. Zero. Okay, so I'll cut away here and see you back when we're a little bit closer. Con maneuvering. Making turns for one, zero, knots. Bring you back in here. We'll uh, try it one more time. Make depth two, zero, zero, you can see our last eight, turn was all the way back there. We're expecting him to be somewhere around here, so closer. Come left to zero nine here are two. Helm I. Make turns. Total ray. Zero knots. Maneuvering I. Con helm. Make depth five zero feet. Dive I. Make turns for one. Mm, okay, five, she's nine, closer. Hopefully detectable at this point. Make turns for one zero. Trying to just decrease. I mean, uh, like you know, get as close to the surface as we can before we. <laughs> Is she gonna be in torpedo? I mean, uh, yeah, ten thousand uh, yards away. We should be able to see her on the scope with we'll zoom. Depth four, five, eight, dive by. Okay. Set on five knots. Four, five knots. Maneuvering up. Alright, what are you? I mean, this is a lot of work to put in for just to verify if this is an enemy vessel, but this is kind of the fun of it. This video, I mean, this series should be at least, I mean, there's a lot of crazy torpedo dodging and all that, which who knows if it's too realistic, but this is, this is much better. Okay. She's at one three zero. Oh, we got her. Oh. She disappeared. Ha. What? I was looking at her. I, I mean, I was... Wait, what happened? She's gone. What? Con, dive at four, five, feet, dive by. What? I don't know what happened. Look, at I, I just... I have a suspicion that we're maybe not supposed to fire at her. So I'm not going to. I, I don't know what is... You know... The right thing to do here. Down to go. And although we have get, you know, it's master contact, so it's multiple. We verified it for multiple things. I'm not sure if we have like officially verified it as an enemy. It is appearing as red. So I think it is a target. It's only 2,000 tons, and one might even consider not engaging just to not reveal the position of the sea wolf. But obviously, we would have a problem saying that that's a good idea, considering we already engaged something. I'm gonna go ahead and go active. Sonar, switching to active search. Con sonar, master two is classified as merchant. Got it. Con you know what's sonar, funny? Switching the passive search. This is not something you can find. So let's go to the merchants. Let's look for that exact thing. Wangsha MS. It's not in here. It's not in here. It's not in here. 
Wait. Ah, so frustrating. Okay. Well, we know. We now know. So we just end this mission. Boy, that's uh, just one little oversight. <laughs> and it looks like we got exactly what we wanted. We didn't get anything we didn't want. Perfect. Return to mission objective immediately. I think I saw a Chinese flag on that thing, so I don't think it would have been disappointing to sink it. Okay, we're about to be detected. Ah! Ah! Run! Should we just sink these guys and then make our way? Okay, let's go in. Oh god. We'll get there. You know what? We'll just go for him. Let's do this. Let's just duke it out, kill these guys, and then hopefully next episode I'll actually be able to get to Shentao. But I'm so scared. I don't want anything over there. Now, uh, again, we're probably going to be using mostly torpedoes, but contacts are at 262, so due west. Um, I think we were going, yeah, our depth is 150, so we're actually going slow upon the start of this engagement. I'm glad we were able to get out of the shallow, I mean, yeah, shallow water, so. This looks good to me, all hands. Man battle stations. Con, so bring ship for ultra quiet. Make depth five zero zero feet, die by. Hey. Come right to zero one two helm I. Con sonar new contact bearing two five two designated Sierra three. I mean, it's more or less a, a Luda. The fact that they're this spread out means my might be they might be pretty close on top of me. Uh, not quite. Also not quite. This is probably the Jangu 3 or whatever. Oh my god. I think I'm just gonna have to accept it as a Jangu. Oh wait, it's this one. Con sonar, Sierra 1 is classified as. Okay, this escort. guy can't detect me. What was this? Luda? Also can't detect me. So we're we're in good shape so far. What is this? Sierra 3? A hunter killer group. Is this a merchant? Yes. Okay, so we just, we do this. We just go quick. Actually, we, you know what, we have a little bit of time. Active, passive. Alright, we have a little bit of time here. Let's just wait it out, get a better solution. I'm not worried. We, I don't think we need to be concerned about, um... Just about to say helicopters or aircraft, but maybe we do, considering this thing is right on top of us. Oh lordy! Oh my lord! Make depth seven zero zero feet. Dive well, it's a nice day. It's a little bit noisy, so hopefully that saves us. I doubt it. Boy, that guy just couldn't have picked a better spot. It's like he knew. Oh god! So you know that thing happened. Let's have this thing go up to the surface. Shoot two one, aye sir. Make turns for three five knot maneuvering eye. Con sonar torpedo in the water. Torpedo yep. in the water. Yeah, Nine, I know. Zero, I know. Six zero. Passing seven hundred feet. Con, sonar, torpedo in the water, oh God. torpedo in the it's water. It's one of those Bearing. days, huh? Zero, eight, eight. Passing 900 feet. Passing 1,000 feet. Passing 1,100 feet. Con, knuckle formed. Am I, like, going underneath these knuckles Passing or something? 1,300 feet. Passing 1,400 feet. Con, knuckle formed. Passing 1,500 feet. 1,500. That's the magic number. Con, knuckle formed. Question is, which way does he break? Alright. Well, not ideal, actually. 
Let's see if we can dive under. Nah, I don't think so. Let's take this one this way. Con, knuckle formed, passing 1,700 feet. Doesn't like us going this deep. All right, let's see what we got here. This is the one after us. Oh, it actually missed us. Ah, that's weird. Ours appears to have acquired. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra two last bearing three. And this two, one's not zero. going contact after us either. Faded. Well, not going after us correctly, at least. Con maneuvering, making turns for. So just three. when we make turns for one five. And we wiggled our way out of this one. Just barely. Let's make that depth. Con sonar lost contact. Oh, I got the Luda. Sierra two. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Break for ultra quiet and bring and make our depth well shallower. This stupid helicopter oh god. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra one bearing two five one. Yeah, I'm not surprised that he's like close. Come left to one seven eight helm I We will probably need to launch at him pretty quickly. Just want to make sure we didn't get the merchant. So here's the merchant's far away. This guy's close. I think we'll just have it go active right away. Get up there, basically. We'll just have to figure out if it's going after the merchant or not after it's already acquired its target. <laughs> Dangerous moments, but I think we're going to be okay, because in my opinion, the Zhongwei should be coming right at us. Whereas we hope... We hope that merchant's just moving, not mining... It basically should be mining its own business. Wow, we're already up to the surface? Good job, Mr. Mark 48. Oh god. Now the marker... Okay. We're gonna have a hard time here. We really need to know <laughs> where these guys are. 32. I could cheat, but I don't want to. I want to try to do this myself. Man, they're like right on top of each other. This is going to be fun. Oh boy. He's close enough to be doing his thing. We probably should be erring on the side of caution as far as trajectories go. I mean, uh, any kind of information we can use. Oh god. This was, yeah, this was not air launched, but Con, something, control, something was. Oh, he launched it here. He decided to drop his torpedo in the water there. Come right to one eight three helm I. Which means, oh god, Con, there's one also over here. Maker, bearing two, six, okay, we got one. the Jungway. Good, good. Con sonar. Torpedo yeah. in the water. Torpedo Boy. in the water. Bearing one, four, nine. One of those nine. days, huh? Passing one get those generators feet. on, boys. Get, get on quick. Con sonar lost contact. Passing eleven hundred feet. Con sonar noisemaker bearing two six. Passing twelve hundred. Oh, we swam in with it. Perfect. That probably actually saved us. Make turns for two zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Con maneuvering. Making turns for passing fifteen hundred feet. So the question is, how is the Jung Wei doing? Oh, yep. Con we're, 
lost it's, a, it's a fight. <laughs> We're just making circles right underneath. <laughs> I'm so cocky. I probably at least should, you know, observe. Got him. Probably should at least observe this torpedo. So a few torpedoes in the water, but we are none the worse to what for wear. I feel like dropping them down a little bit more just because I want to be around the... I, I don't think torpedoes are... I'm pretty sure if they don't acquire, they don't blow up. So part of me is like okay with them blowing up and not causing any damage. Because that's just... That's not the reality of it. The reality would be they would just sink. Actually, this one's a little bit dicey. This one's coming in from long distance. So our current heading. So yeah, let's go ahead and spin back around. Take ourselves out of this path. Oh, it's way too. I think it's way too shallow to acquire. Make turns for three, five knots. Maneuvering eye. No, we had another one detonate. That might have been the... Yeah, it was the close range one. What the hell is going on? <laughs> These torpedoes are losing their damn mind. <laughs> Alright. Now we still have aircraft nearby. Okay. Well, this is the fun of it, isn't it? Getting rid of the aircraft. Always the problem. That's one that's dead. So I'm gonna cheat as much as possible. Come right to one one zero helm I. Just to make this as quick as possible. Since we're making a whole lot of noise, we might as well reload some torpedoes. Not that we need to, but yeah, you know, we're just gonna move away from the helicopter because we can't right end the mission. One, we're we're I, set, right? I, There's nothing helm which I. can happen to us. We're fine. We'll move at 1,300 feet at this point, but basically we just need to get out of the range of this helicopter. Good. Why did you stop me? Not over me. I don't know. Slow down to 20. I mean, I guess we don't really even need to. Oh, they dropped a buoy, that's why. Okay. Come right to one five eight helm I con helm steady course. Con torpedo room two two. As soon as we get out of the way, we'll just end this. I might also put a little cut in here, just a little pause, because we're unless something exciting happens, like they drop a torpedo on us. Really, there's nothing interesting that's going to be happening until we can just leave this mission. Is that another buoy? Yeah, was, but it was not near me. I don't think it was near me. Uh, it doesn't even say where it is. Ah, we can leave. Okay, good. Sink the two targets. Well done with this, but it's not your target. I know. Believe me, I know. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll pot. We interrupt these this sub hunt. <laughs> to tell you that the Secretary of Navy expresses his heartfelt congratulations and takes ple great pleasure in awarding the Bronze Star Medal to Commander Tortuga Power, Commanding Officer USS Seawolf's SSN-21. Commander Tortuga Power is cited for extraordinary heroism in action against enemies of the United States of America on 25th September 2000. His unwavering resolve and self-sacrificing devotion to duty in the face of death are worthy of the highest emulation. Thank you, but I'm going to pause here, bring this episode to a close, and hopefully we'll get close enough to Chantal to actually uh, complete our mission in the next video. For now, thanks for watching, and until the next one, take care.